Hey guys, so tonight I will look through the regulations of flying with tackle. What can you carry on? What can you not carry on? Hopefully we can take a Plano box of tackle, this little rod in my carry-on, no problem. If not, we'll check in a bag so that we can get it there. And we're gonna be doing some fishing in Florida, so stay tuned. All right, guys, I am flying Southwest. You wanna check your airline, uh, their regulations, and then you also wanna check with the TSA. So based off of Southwest's baggage allowance, they say that you can bring fishing tackle as a check-in item. So fishing rods, they, if they're enclosed in a cylindrical uh, case, maximum 91 inches with a three inch diameter, then you can check in a rod tube and a tackle box or tackle bag as one checked bag item. Even though they will have separate tags, um, it will count as one item. That is Southwest website. Going over to the TSA side, Basically, as far as fishing uh, items, TSA says you can, on a carry-on bag or a check bag, you can put fishing poles. And then for small fishing lures, so this isn't in quotations, it just says small, but small fishing lures, you can carry it on a bag or check it in in your bag. And then under that, these are the parameters you're given. Sharp fishing tackle that may be considered dangerous, such as large fish hooks, should be sheathed, securely wrapped, and packed in your checked luggage. Like other high value objects, you may wish to pack expensive reels or fragile tackle that does not pose a security threat. Small flies in your carry-on baggage. This is super vague. Uh, according to the TSA, you can take some tackle on the plane they don't define small in a measurement, whether, I mean, that, that would really help us out a lot, but they're not giving us that information. If they said all hooks bigger than five inches need to be checked in, then we would have something in writing cut and dry. But based off of what I'm reading here and what I've been reading is it's totally up to the TSA agent that, that confronts you whether they will allow you to carry it on or not. So if you come across a TSA agent that happens to be a big saltwater fisherman, a 5 um offset hook might not be a big deal. I don't know. I don't know how they gauge this. But if you run into someone that doesn't fish at all or maybe they fish for bluegill, then a 5 out hook is huge. And they're going to say no way. But at the end of the day, it is totally up to their discretion whether they let you go or they force you to check the, those items in. That's what TSA says about tackle. So it, it's, it's very vague. It's up to the TSA agent's discretion. If you plan to try and take it as a carry-on, be ready to present your case. Um, okay, so I'm back in Atlanta from Orlando, and I wanted to update you because I carried on my tackle. So when I sent it through TSA on my bag, I put the camera to record to go through the conveyor belt through the x-ray machine and uh, in case that they saw something that was alarming if they were to come search through my stuff I could document it but no one ever came to look at it my bag went through the x-ray machine and out nobody cared I grabbed my bag and I got on the plane so I'm going to show you exactly what was in my bag there so I had the little rod, my reel, and then I had this Plano box. And inside this Plano box we had this uh, buzz bait. We had a plopper style bait with treble hooks. We had a few frogs. We had a few square bills with trebles. Um, I had a few four-aught hooks, worm hooks. Uh, this is even, I think this is a seven aught. I had some spare spinner bait hooks. I had some spinner baits, some regular swim jigs, and then some just regular old jigs um, with hooks. Like I mentioned, the, the TSA says small hooks are allowed. They don't define what a small hook is. And I'm sure it's gonna be case by case, but today in Orlando's International Airport, they did not care 
about what was in my bag. So if you're curious uh, if you can take tackle hooks and things on an airplane, you can. It'll just depend on the hook and probably the agent you deal with that day. Some things that I would use definitely have that section on the TSA where it talks about tackle pulled up if they're going to question you. Um, and then also, I mean, you can tell them you got the stuff there on the carry-on before. How come they're not letting you now? As long as it's bass tackle, I think it's okay. If you're fishing for sharks or something, you got treble hooks the size of your hand. That might be an issue. But yeah, just wanted to update you guys and if let me know in the comments if you've had success or you have not had success. What happened? And what did they tell you? So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hope that helped. I'll see you next time.